Hi guys and welcome back to a new video with me, the Omega Enthusiast. I purchased this Seamaster chronometer a while back and put it aside throughout all these years. Last week I have decided that it is time to restore this precious piece of history. I bought this watch along with its personal documents and original paperwork from Omega. According to the Omega paperwork, this watch was sold on June 28th of 1952 in Cape Town, South Africa. This is a first generation Omega Seamaster watch under the case model CK2577, first introduced in 1948. The dial on this case model may come with or without the word Seamaster. This case model exists as a regular Seamaster automatic or a Seamaster chronometer automatic. This piece that I will be working on is a Seamaster chronometer version. There are two different movements that comes in the chronometer version. It can be a caliber 354 or 352. The one in this watch is a caliber 352, which, is the, which has the luxury finish and the special RG regulator. The original era box and strap plus buckle are bought separately. I thought if I am going to complete this restoration, might as well obtain its original box and strap. The overall of this Seamaster is in pretty good condition to begin with. Looking at the worn crystal, I can tell that this watch must have gone through a lot of wrist time and probably have not been serviced for a very long time. Shaking the watch, I can hear a cling cling noise inside the watch coming from the automatic weight. This tells me that the automatic weight axle or jewels are broken inside. Let's put everything back into the box except for the watch and begin the restoration. I tried to film on my workbench this time. It is a lot easier to work on the watch compared to the last restoration video. However, it is still quite difficult compared to how I normally would sit and work on my watch since there's a tripod right in front of my face taped against the front of the workbench. The tripod is blocking my vision and mainly my right hand. At the end of the day, I'm glad that I still managed to complete this video for you guys. Please make sure to hit on that thumbs up to support this channel. You can always support this channel on my Patreon account as well. Link in the description box below.
time to test the barrel arbor and the barrel bridge to see if there is any play. Since there is a bit of play, I will need to correct that later on the staking tool. Otherwise, the timing sufficiency will not be consistent. So as you can see, the main spring on this watch is uh, no longer good since uh, when you take it out, you can see that it curl like the shape of a snail. That means there's no strength left in this mainspring. And I also dislike using these uh, blue type mainspring. Three things that I have to uh, go through on this watch. Uh, one is to correct the barrel arbor, and the other two are to replace that mainspring and the uh, automatic weight axle, which is this piece right here.
That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Comment below to let me know if you are interested to watch more video like this. Each video takes me a long time to create, so your support is highly appreciated. Please support the channel on my Patreon account and make sure to hit on that thumbs up button below and do not forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram along with my near 90,000 followers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.